friends, my name is Cassidy or Magical Martini. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we have a very special guest. This is Nicholas. Hi. He is from Disney Mertz. I will link his channel up above and down below. We are friends in real life too, um, having a fun Disney sleepover. So we decided to film my 500 subscriber giveaway. Woo! I don't know why I do that in videos, that weird woo thing. I'm so not full of energy. <laughs> so, um, okay, so first of all, I want to preface this video with saying thank you so much to each and every single one of you. This YouTube journey has been so much fun. It's honestly just like a hobby just to share my collection and getting to know all of you guys, getting to make friends and like see your collections and talk in the comments and all that stuff just like really means a lot to me. It brings a lot of joy to my life. So just thank you so much for each and every one of you. I'm so excited to hit this huge milestone like this is well t currently I'm at 499 but by the time I upload this in a few days I'm hoping to be at 500 so we're gonna go over like the rules and like what we're gonna give away but I just wanted to start it by saying thank you because you know I wouldn't be still doing this if it wasn't for you guys like originally I just thought I was gonna post one video just to check it off the bucket list and that was it and here it is like two and a half years later just like a fun little hobby that now I almost have 500 subscribers so, and so being cool. one of those 500 subscribers, thank you, adore, like the thing we love about you, I will speak for all of your subscribers, <laughs> you're the cutest, you have this like snow white cutesy little voice, but then you're like obsessed with your villains, your backgrounds better than any of us YouTubers backgrounds, you have your cool <laughs> sleeve tattoo, your, your like obsessions with like Harry Potter and stuff, like Aww. We appreciate you because you give us the content that we crave and that we want. So Aww, thank thanks. you for doing you. Thank you so much. That was so nice. Um, anyway, uh, aw, now I'm all flustered and I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to go over just like, it's going to be really simple. I've never done a giveaway before, so I kind of want to make it as simple as possible so that I don't mess up. So what we're going to do is make sure you are publicly subscribed to my channel. Make sure to like this video, give it a big old thumbs up, and then comment down below who is your favorite Disney villain and why. You'll see we're both repping villains. I have a numerous on me. He's got... Facilier. One of the best ones. I mean, the Shadow Always. Man. Come on. Mm -hmm. um, so let us know who is your favorite villain and why. And then two weeks from the day that I post this video, which will be the two week date will be November 23rd. That is when the giveaway will close. And at 12 p.m. on my Instagram, at Magical Martini, I will be going live and doing a comment generator to pick the winner of the items that we're about to show you. And Nicholas was so generous to bring something to contribute to the giveaway. So we're gonna show you those things in just a minute. But Nicholas, who is your favorite Disney villain and why? Um, well, I'm wearing Dr. Facilier because Princess and the Frog is my jam, but I want to say favorite villain would probably be Hades. Um, those who know me and my channel know that, like, Hercules totally reminds me of my husband, Eric, and then Hades is, like, the dramatic, over-the-top, flamboyant other half of Hercules, which is me, the dramatic, flamboyant, <laughs> over-the-top half of Eric. So I relate to Hades. I would say Hades is my favorite. I love that. So for a long time, my answer would have been the Evil Queen, and I really do love the Evil Queen, like her aesthetic, like her color scheme, the poison apple, her little heart box, like her peacock throne, like I really like it. But I'm super obsessed with Vanessa, which is Ursula's human form, for those that don't know. I know it's, she has such a small part in that movie, but, like, she hits hard. Like, I think she's super attractive, for one. And also, I mean, right? Yeah. The only thing I don't like is that she kicks Max in the face. I say this every time I talk about her. Like, that's not okay. But I just really like her. Like, and I ship her and Eric. Come at me if you want. I don't care. But anyway, that's my favorite villain. That's a good one. So, and she has, and the good thing about her too is though, like, having like a more obscure favorite when the merch comes out, you like appreciate it so much more. Right. So that's I do good. have a decent Vanessa collection for like there hardly being any merchandise of her. 
So, okay, let's get to the part that you all want to see. Like, what could you win? And I, we spoiled it a little in the thumbnail, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but we're just going to, like, talk about it a little. So, um, we're going to start with this. This is a Funko Pop Evil Queen pin. I will put a bigger picture of it right here so that you can see it up close. But it's basically the perfect combination of two of my favorite things to collect, Disney pins and Funko Pops. So why not? You can either keep it in the box because the box is really cute, or there's a stand. You can take it out of the box. You can put it in a pin book, on a bulletin board. Possibilities are endless. One of my favorite villains. And then there's another one. This one which is Ursula, same concept. And like you said, what I love about these is because you can only, you can not only put them on the pin board, but if you have a pin board that's like set up against something, I love taking these, because I have some of these, and putting it like next to the base of the pin board because it doesn't have to be on there because it does take up a lot of room. But I'm obsessed. And Ursula is everyone's favorite um, baddie villain drag queen. So we love this. And with this, I like that it, it's like the huge Funko that I have up there. The and tenets. she has um, Triton's like crown and uh, what's that thing called? Trident? Is that right? Scepter? I think it's a tri 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 trident. Trident or trident? Is it, it's not a gum. <laughs> it's the pointy arrowy thing that looks like that. pitchfork. Mm -hmm. That thing. Okay, so there's one more pin. Um, I really wanted to include this because I actually have this pin as well. Again, I'll put a picture up, but it is a limited edition 1500. This is a really rare pin. It's an old pin. Um, I can't even make out the year, but basically what it is, is it's a CD for Beauty and the Beast. And it's perfect because the 30th anniversary is coming up in just a few weeks. This is my favorite Disney movie, if you didn't know. So on one side, you have Belle with Adam and then you flip it up and turn it around and the other side has Bell with Beast. So I just really wanted to include this. It does not have a backer card, um, but it's a really special pin and I hope you guys love it. Next, I would love for Nicholas to show what he brought to contribute to it because it was so sweet of him. So I knew that we were doing this and I knew that I was going to come and film her giveaway with her, but I know that she's queen villain. I, as a kid, was obsessed with Sari. And then when I was up on Amazon, I saw they had, like, a villain's edition of Sari. And I thought that was pretty dope. And then on the back, you could be Ursula, Scar, Jafar, or Maleficent. You can choose your characters. Typical Sari, but with, like, that villain's twist. And I just thought it was perfect with this aesthetic. So I'm very happy to include this for So you. honestly, when he showed me this, I was a little jealous and was almost considering being like, mm, I kind of want that and we should play that tonight. But I decided not to be selfish and we're including that in the giveaway. Now we're going to go to an item that was technically donated by Kyle, my boyfriend, because it is a massive villains puzzle. It is the coolest artwork. It is 1500 pieces. And the reason I say it was donated by Kyle is because he got this for me as a present but it's a long story. We ended up getting two. So we would be puzzle twins. And you know, I know the pandemic, we're not really all home anymore. Oh my but, God, Hades, I know. side profile. But those that are, I feel like a lot of people really got into puzzles and there's so many cool, obscure um, villains on this. There's even Lucifer. Like that's one of my favorite parts is that Lucifer is at the top. And that's so. one of the dope ones that like, it's so pop art and so colorful that you would definitely like frame that. And frame it, that. yeah. It is challenging. I'm, I'm not going to lie. We spent many hours trying to put it together and it was really hard. <laughs> so uh, we had to put it back in the box and we're going to revisit it one day. But I'm anxious to see if one of you can put it together. So good luck. Um, and the very last item, quite possibly the one that I'm the most excited for, is this stunning Beauty and the Beast Thomas Kincaid prints. This is also something that I'm very jealous about because I do have a Thomas Kincaid painting of Beauty and the Beast, but it is different. This one has so many incredible details. I'm going to take a good picture of it and like have it cover the whole screen so you can see some of the details, but you have Gaston. You even have the wardrobe on the opposite side. You have the footstool. Maurice is up in the top balcony area. There's just so many amazing details to this and he is the painter of light and it's just incredible it is not framed but is it's almost on like a poster board so you can do whatever you want with it 
Um, this is the last item. I hope you guys like it. This is just like a little bit of me, you know, like my favorite things, Beauty and the Beast and Villains. So that's really what I wanted to do for my first giveaway. So um, I will include all of the rules. I guess that's what we call them, rules, right? Yes. <laughs> all the rules that we mentioned in the comments down below. I will be posting a photo of this. So if you want to go onto my Instagram at Magical Martini and share it, spread the word, that would be awesome. And just thank you so much for being here. And thank you, Nicholas, for contributing and being in this video. And I'm going to comment out of support, but I'm not going to enter. <laughs> I will feel so selfish if I'm in the video and Watch I win. Watch you win? I'm that not. would be so I'm hilarious. Not. I'm, not. I'm like, live and it comes up Disney Mart. <laughs> but I'm looking at that puzzle and that game and that Kincaid and no yes I will just support but best of luck to all of y'all. Perfect so definitely make sure to subscribe like comment all of the things um and just thank you guys so much for being here. I know I've said that a million times but I just really appreciate you and we hope that you have the most magical day. Bye! Bye!